So previously we created the invent the pickup system. Well, today we are going to actually create the inventory, so we can actually see what we are picking up, kinda. So uh, let's go into the widgets folder. And I click and create user interface of widget. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I just call it widget blueprint. Uh, inventory and another one is gonna be it's gonna be widget blueprint slots because uh, we're gonna like generate slots when we pick up something so we can open the inventory up so we're gonna drag the canvas panel which should be yeah, that and a border so just drag it in basically you can make the inventory how you like it. You can do, you know, how big, how small you want it. So if you click on the inventory and go to brush, you'll find tint. Just click on it and choose whatever color you want. For me, it's going to be black and the opacity is 0 0.7. And bam, we have our inventory. Of course, you can use uh, images. So you can just drag it in and put whatever image you want. But for us, it's going to be a border. It's really easy to work with. Uh, uniform grid panel. Mm -hmm. Just drag it in on top of the border. And just scale it like this. Well, let's add the padding from the top as like 50 maybe. Or like 100. Mm -hmm. And from the right, like 10. Okay, 50. So that's basically done. We can compile it and save it. Now open up the slots panel. And basically do the same. Put on the canvas. But for this, we'll, we will have an image. Drag that in. And a button. So the button will basically be like, you know, in... Most survival games, when you click on the item, it gives you a menu, right? So let's do like the size of 85 by 85, I think. And the button, um, 90 by uh, 90. So something along these lines. So the button should be um, below or under the image. Now what are we gonna basically do? We're just gonna change the image. So you can compile and save it. Go to the inventory and search for uh, VB slot that we created. Just drag it in on top of the uniform grid and you will see the slot now. If we for example copy paste them all, for example like yeah, let's let's have like four in a row. Or five of them. So you can see we have rows and columns. So and so it starts from zero. So this is the zero. Then it's one. Then it's two. Um. Then it's three. Because that's that's more like middle, right? So for example, like this, you can like customize it how you want. But this is how the slots will basically uh, end up. Let's go to edit, let's go to project settings. And we have to find input. So we're gonna add a new input called uh, open inventory. And it's gonna be for me tab because I, I think it's more easier. You can do E or whatever key you want. And we can just search for open inventory. And it should be an action event. <clears throat> so go back to the inventory. And there should be the AC inventory, the component. Now we're going to create a new function called F open inventory and F close inventory. So in the open one, just click on the open one. 
when when we're gonna open it we're gonna create a widget we're gonna create a widget and that will be a widget blueprint inventory so click on that and the return value you can just promote it into variable and call it widget blueprint uh, inventory and when we do that then we're gonna get controller get play controller uh, set input or set a no set input mode game and UI connect those dots dots and the widget to focus is the widget in uh, widget inventory and we can just full screen down now show mouse cursor And bam. later on, right here we'll have a refresh node for that cycle. You can just save it and check this off because we're gonna show it. And now in the close one, we're gonna get the inventory. Uh, is valid if the inventory is open. We're gonna remove from parent so we're gonna get the widget blueprint and remove it and then get controller <coughs> uh, set input mode uh, game only and show mouse cursor we're gonna set it so we're not gonna show the mouse cursor anymore, and that's basically it. So that's that's done. We can go to the player now. Uh, do a flip flop, and we can just drag in the AC inventory and uh, open inventory, and connect. So uh, basically, how flip flops work. If you press it once, it's gonna go to A. When you press it again, it's gonna go uh, to B. So it's it's really uh, simple to understand. Hopefully, it's like a switch, you know. So you can compile and uh, save that. We forgot one thing. We have to add to viewport because uh, if you're not gonna add to viewport, we will not actually see it. Uh, hopefully, that uh, makes sense. Thank God I actually added this thing. Cause this node. Mm. So, if you actually play now and press tab, you can see we have an inventory. So, in the VB slots, we're gonna create a new function called uh, F update slots. And there will be an input called, well, BP item master, of course. And it's gonna be the purple one, so the class reference. So, and we're just gonna call it uh, the handle, handle, yeah, handle. And just drag it out, promote it, because we will need it later. And get class uh, defaults. Now you will see we have an image, so we can get the image set brush by uh, texture connect the image to the texture and just plug everything in and if we compile and save it and that's basically that's how we set an item image I guess if that makes sense so when we're gonna pick up something it's gonna set an image so we go to stone can pick whatever image you want, compile and save it. We so will have uh, this weird one, you know, just just for testing purposes, you know, it's just for testing. If you have your own, you can you can insert them. Now we have to go back to the inventory, and before we actually do something, we have to click on the uniform button and make it as a variable. 
and now we can create a new function called f um, update inventory so we're gonna take the uniform right? we're gonna clear the child children so everything that's inside here will be just wiped out but now we have to actually make an input right look at that it's an inventory just call it inventory and it should be bp item master and it's the purple one class structures well it didn't do it okay class for each nope we cannot do that okay for each loop oh we cannot do it okay, okay we have to make it as array so like that that's one connect all the dots now we're gonna create uh widget and now we can actually create the slots for it we're not gonna connect that why did I even try and now promote it into the widget blueprint slots and do f update slots and put the held into the array element now let's make it a little bit neater And now we can get the uniform right? So basically what we are doing right now. <sighs> so we are clearing everything. Right? It's basically we are updating. We are clearing and for each loop we are creating a new slot. And updating the slot with a new image. And then we are going to create... No. Uniform. Add children to uniform. So now we actually adding the slots to specific row and all that kind of stuff. And the content is the slots. And now, now we now we need in row and column. So this should be uh, divided, and this should be percentage. We can promote the B1 into a variable. Let's call it columns. Then we are getting uniform grid. Get get all children. Get all chi get children count I mean. And just connect them. And that's basically it. We've done it. GG's. So we can just save it, compile it and save it. Now we can go back to the AC inventory and when we open the inventory right we're going to F update inventory and the uh, inventory we just have to create a variable called inventory and have it as BP item master and of course it's the purple one I'm gonna call it the purple one you know and that sh it should be an array. Bam. But it doesn't end here, guys. It doesn't end here. <laughs> you have to actually do more. <laughs> yeah, we have to do more. So, in the add item, right? If you are destroying the item, we are not really adding the item to the inventory just yet, right? So, to add it, it's kind of complicated. So, just delete the destroy so you can just delete that and we have to create a new function we're gonna call it if I can rename it thank you um, if add um, add to inventory I guess. oh my god you have to make an input probably Let's call it item uh, bp item master it's an object reference get class yeah then get inventory let's add not a unique 
Had I turned on? No. How was it? Was it hard? I think it was. Yeah, it was hard. Okay. Let's connect that. Then we are getting the notifications. Just in case. This is just in case, you know. And then we are uh, F updating. Then we are updating the inventory. You have to update it. Absolutely. And you can have a sound effect as well. So sound of sound of no sound sudi. So you can just play a sound sudi, for example, when you pick up the item or add it to your inventory, whatever. So that's basically done, thank god, um, that's the easy part, now the hard part that I hate doing it, but I mean you have to do what you have to do. You know? Of course we will have the um, uh, auto pickup system as well, so you can like turn off the auto pickup or turn on the auto pickup, it's kind of up to you, but we will have the auto pickup as well. I think it's really good, so overlapping item, let's go on that. It's gonna be a uh, single, and no, it's not gonna be single actually. <laughs> it's gonna be an array, and we're gonna get it if it's uh, greater than no. What the fuck? We're gonna get the length, sorry. And then if it's a greater than, that's a branch. If it's greater than, you know. And then we are add to inventory when it's true. The item is item to pick up. Then we are getting overlap item. We are remove item. This is the item that we are removing. Then, oh my god, then we are destroying. I'm kind of surprised that I'm, I still remember stuff. And then we just copy paste this basically, put that down. And we are setting the item to pick up. Getting overlap, a uh, random. Alright. Boom. That's basically it. Not gonna, I'm, I'm not even gonna try to explain. It's, I'm, I'm not good at explaining. So if we actually play, uh, there will be probably a more tough. So if we play, pick up, okay so something isn't working that I do not like. So the thing is right here, in the BP item master, just go there and even grab, uh, there should be add, no 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 no, overlapping, get overlapping, and then add. And it should be self. So this is what we are missing. Pick a, uh, auto picker we can implement that later. I don't really care about it. So if we pick up you can see we have the item in our inventory. I don't know why it's lagging so bad. Right? <laughs> and you can, oh well that shouldn't that shouldn't oh okay so i know the problem if you have the same problem it's really easy to fix you can go to the inventory and there should be the columns so these are the columns how much do you want in uh, each column so the columns are the horizontal ones i, I think so basically if we actually play that now we had that four i think so if we play, we pick up one, pick up another one, pick up another one, there should be three, right? Um, so this is how you make it, it's really complicated, I know. 